What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Wednesday morning to you. It is hump day, and I'm going to get you through it. Let's go. Uh, Red letter words today come from Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. Jesus says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they're ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? So every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will recognize them, or the other translation says, thus you will know them by their fruits. You know, he starts off with giving you a warning about how to really, again, we were talking about how do you, how do you judge certain situations. And he was talking about like you've got these false prophets in your life. He goes, the great way to know if you've got somebody, now again, we're talking about prophet, we, we're talking about somebody who is, is really speaking uh, on behalf of God. Uh, in our modern context, we would say, hey, who are the, the pastors, the leaders, the counselors, the wisdom coming to you in your life? And he goes, hey, one of the ways that you want to think about who do I allow to speak into my life? I want to only allow people to speak into my life, people that actually have good fruit. And so it's kind of a, a, a really a warning, if you will, to say, hey, make sure that you think about who's speaking to your life and make sure that they have good fruit. I, I just know this to be true. Like, I want to go take financial counsel from people who are doing really well financially. I don't want to take my financial counsel from, you know, people who are broke, busted, and disgusted. Same thing with my marriage. I don't want to go look at the person who's been married and divorced 10 times to get my marital advice. I want to go to see somebody who's got a great marriage and what are they doing? How can I tap into that? But it has implications because he kind of begins talking about how you look at others and then it seems to switch into how do you look at your own life. And he says these words, he goes, every tree that's healthy is going to produce good fruit. And so the challenge goes from how we look at others to how we look at ourselves. And we're asking ourselves this question, well, what kind of fruit do I have? Should I be speaking into other people's lives? Well, what is the fruit in my life? And he points back to that good fruit is going to come from a healthy place. And so you and I as Christ followers, we are on a journey towards wholeness, a journey towards being healthy and whole in Christ Jesus. We want to make sure that, that God is healing the wounds of our past, that we're uprooting the bitterness from maybe past offenses in our life, that we're walking with wisdom and removing the foolishness from our own life, and we want to find that health in Christ Jesus. And if we do so, we're going to begin to bear good fruit. And I think fruit's kind of seen usually a couple different ways in the Scripture. Number one is this, is that fruit is seen as kind of the character of God in you. And then number two, it's seen in like the fruit of other people around you. And so anyway, church, I want you, I want you to be careful today to examine like, hey, how's the healthiness of my own heart? Is there something in my heart that doesn't belong? And that's what's producing some negative results and negative outcomes in my life. Can I get an amen? Real challenging set of verses today, but it is worth it because I don't know about you, but I want to see some good fruit in my life. Can I get an amen? Let's pray this morning. Heavenly Father, help us, God to be a healthy soul, and to have healthy people and healthy voices around us, Lord God. We want to experience your best. We want to experience your abundant life. We want to experience uh, fruit, divine godly fruit in our lives. Help us, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody say amen. Church, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.